Hello, Gemini. How's everybody today? How are my Geminis? How are you guys? Tina Beecher here. Getting ready to do a reading for Gemini. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Gemini that's out there. Um, if it does, take that information. Um, do what's best with it. If it's not, if it doesn't seem to resonate and it doesn't apply, just leave that information there. Um, come back. You know, I, I, put, I post all the time and you will find one that absolutely, you'll know when you hit the right reading for you and you get that clarity that, you know, you've been already mulling this over in your mind. So, um, first off, I want you to um, like Hit that like button for me. I need you to also mash that subscribe button and please share this with your friends. I am going to tell you right now, I'm an old school biker. Um, I have been running solo on my own Harley Davidson um, for more than 40 years, um, close to 47 off and on. So you're going to find some vocabulary that might not be suitable for some of you. If it's not, um, there are thousands of other readers on YouTube. Um, I won't be offended. Please, um, you know, if, if this isn't your cup of tea, uh, tune. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, you just happen to hear a spirit box in the background. I am off and run. It is an application on my phone called Ghost Radar. Distant. Thank you, spirit. Ghost Radar. Um, it is an application by Spud Pickles is the developer. And <laughs> I'm gonna have to connect with them. I keep sending people to that. Um, I need to monetize with them. Um, but is that's the app that's running in the background? You'll hear spirit interject occasionally. Sometimes it pertains to what's going on. Sometimes it won't. Um, it is um, what is it? It is. It is. It is ah. It could be just random energy in the background, but. Chances are it pertains to this reading, and this is for Gemini. Okay, Gemini, here's what I'm seeing right off the get go. We got the moon, the hanged man, the two of pinnacles, and the ten of cups, all in reverse. You are just finishing up with something, Gemini. You are just finishing up. The moon card was in reverse. Um, there was some calamity. There was a little bit of confusion. Um, somebody didn't seem to be who they really were. Now that's past. It's over. Um, you've kind of separated yourself from that. Um, the hangman tells me that you are literally just hanging out for... A, almost killing time trying to figure out which way to go. You didn't have a lot of um, insight what was best for you and which, which you really wanted to do in this particular case. Um, you felt like uh, the two of pinnacles also was in reverse. You, you felt like you were really juggling um, a lot of things for this other person. And I'm not even certain right now if it's a love interest yet, but we'll get deeper in the reading here. We'll see. But you kind of like walking on eggshells um, with this other person. You just chose to say, all right, finished, finite. And it was followed up by the Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, it wasn't the ending you were hoping for. That's the, that's the way it should appear, just as a celebration, as a happy ending. And um, it, the, the dreams that you had, the hopes, and it was in reverse. Um, the things that you were kind of hoping for, the outcome of this relationship didn't happen. Um, well, they were kind of, it was kind of anticlimactic. Um, you stayed long enough to figure out what was, what was going on with it, and now you've decided to move on. We have the seven of cups, the four of, okay, here we go. We're, now we're getting into it. Um, we've got the seven of cups and that just tells us that you were dealing with a whole lot of chaos. Um, but at that time you couldn't see that there was opportunity connected with, with that chaos. Now that you're stepping away from that situation, you can see with clarity 
that, oh my gosh, um, look at all the opportunities that are ahead of me. Absolutely awesome opportunities. Um, we have these uh, four of wands. There it is. It's celebration. There are good things that are going to come uh, out of this. You stepped away in absolutely in the nick of time. Now, Gemini, you may have felt that there was another pi a person in the picture. Um, we have the three of swords. You dealt with a little bit of heartbreak, but I don't feel that the third person in this relationship was um, a love interest to the other person. I just think it may have been a mother-in-law, a best buddy, you know, somebody that was just kind of putting some crap in their ear. You know, it, it never seemed to be at the right time. You know, they were trying to tell, trying to guide them and help them out. But, you know, they were just kind of saying the wrong thing to um, your person, Gemini, um, at the wrong time. So, yeah, you felt like there was somebody else in the relationship, and there was, but it was not a love interest, because that is showing up in reverse. Um, <laughs> here we go. Um, uh, the next two cards that I pull are the um, Ace of Cups and the Devil. Now, you did feel that something or someone else had some kind of control on your person, and that was the devil card. Um, there was a Capricorn kind of connection. Oftentimes, this it can also be some kind of um, addiction. Not necessarily drug or alcohol. It could be a food addiction. It could be a gambling addiction. You know, it could be a, a pornography addiction. Um, but there was something else. You and you're right with your intuition, Gemini, that this person had something else that was hanging on them. But now that you have stepped out of that situation, here it comes, um, Gemini. You got good things headed your way. Good gravy here. Um, I knew it was coming, but you had to get out of this relationship and this situation before these better things could come your way. You know, the Ace of Cups is telling us that there is an opportunity that's getting coming forward. Take a look at that is coming out of the cloud. That means that it's meant to happen. It is a divine, um, it could happen in, it's happening in divine timing. Let me put it that way. Um, but there is some resolution and some clarity that is coming out of this um, chaos. Yeah, you dealt with this for quite a while. You know, we have the, the Nine of Swords here and, you know, you a lot of anxiety. Um, you didn't know what to do. You know, there may have been kids involved in this um, and not necessarily kids to each other, but you know, stepkids, grandkids, and you guys were just trying to hold um, shit together, you know, for the sake of the kids. We have the Page of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. All right, that's what I'm wanting to hear. Um, the bottom of the deck. I also like to run the bottom of the deck on occasion when I'm told, um, because I take my guidance from source. Um, we have the four pinnacles. It was a huge, huge worry for you if you were going to be able to do this on your own financially. Um, you're finding out now that you got out of this stress that it's a little easier. It's a little easier. Source. Um, source. Absolutely. Thank you, spirit. Um, Source always comes through for us in divine timing. And you have that, again, you have that Ace of Swords that's coming through too. Um, the Ace of Swords usually, I'm, excuse me, getting rid of some kind of reminder that popped up here. Um, the Ace of Swords um, is an absolute reminder that there is some kind of communication that could be coming through on this. Um, it's going to be, you know, that last tail end of that finishing up crap. He, um, you know, the finger pointing um, can come out of this. And we are in an energy right now that is very um, in tune for that, you know, point and finger stuff. So be careful. You know, um, there could be some harsh words and a little bit of hurt feelings when that communication comes through. 
Um, it could be for you or it could be for your person, Gemini. Um, I'm not certain because you need to take this information as it hits uh, you or your person and allow it to resonate with you. And we also have the King of Pentacles that came up. <clears throat> King of Pentacles is feeling like, I have a hair in my eye. <laughs> King of Pentacles feels like you're almost there, almost solid in who you are. Um, you are almost solid financially, like in that almost, so and what I'm saying almost solid is you almost know it. You're almost feeling it. You know it's right around the corner, but you're not quite there but you are getting more solid financially. Things are going to work out for you, Gemini. Um, when that communication comes through, take a minute and think about what you're going to say and don't say it in anger. Don't say it in hate. Don't say it in um, resentment. You know, say it with love. You can let them know what you think, but say it with love in your heart. And you can finish the karma with this person. Otherwise, you're going to carry it over to the next lifetime with this person. This is a, um, a soulmate. We have many soulmates in our lifetime. This is a soulmate that I feel um, that you are um, coping with, Gemini. But let me tell you, um, there's better things coming. Okay? Well, hey, you guys. Um, that's a general reading for Gemini. Please drop over to Tina Beecher Psychic Medium over at Facebook and um, contact me there if you'd like to set up um, an appointment, see what my availabilities and my bookings are. Um, as always, I never leave you guys without saying love and light. Love you guys.